The Dallara AV21 designed for the Indy Autonomous Challenge is the most advanced autonomous race car ever built. Capable of traveling at speeds over 170 miles per hour, the driver's seat has been replaced by state-of-the-art sensors and computers needed for autonomous racing. These rugged, high-performance computers digest massive amounts of data, making split-second decisions based on millions of data points. The computers are designed to handle the shock, vibration, and temperature demands of autonomous, high-speed racing. The race cars use cameras, LiDAR, and radar to detect other race cars and obstacles on and around the track. Data from these sensors are captured and fused in real time to provide a complete picture of everything around it. Three LiDAR sensors are on the Dallara AV21. They send out millions of laser pulses per second to measure the precise distance to surrounding objects, giving the race car a 3D view of the world. The Dallara AV21 has three electronically scanning radars that measure the position and speed of other race cars and obstacles on the track. The radars have an advantage over LiDARs and cameras. They're able to measure speed directly. Six cameras on the Dallara AV21 allow the computer to see other race cars and obstacles on the track and are arranged to give a full 360 degree view around the race car. These cameras are capable of capturing more than 60 images per second. There are four precision GPS antennas on the Dallara AV21. These GPS units show exactly where the car is down to the nearest centimeter. The Dallara AV21 includes numerous sensors that measure wheel speeds, tire temperatures, suspension positions, and more. These sensors give real-time feedback on the condition and health of the race car. The Dallara AV21 does not have a steering wheel. Instead, it uses a drive-by wire system to convert software commands into real-world vehicle mechanics, including steering, braking, and acceleration. All of the AV21s in the Autonomous Challenge at CES have the same groundbreaking hardware, but it's up to the university teams to write their own unique software in order to win the race. <laughs>